Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to deploy your Angular application to Warcell for free. If you are a freelance developer, hobbyist, someone who is learning, someone who wants to practice, all of that, this is your guide. Before we start with actual step-by-step -step implementation, I'll show you what Warcell is and how you can get your free account. So log into warcell.com. This is the company which is has released Next.js. So this is the company that builds Next.js as an open source platform. Also, they provide a pricing plan which is for hobby, which means as a developer, as someone who is practicing, you can deploy your projects, maintain your repo, automatic CI CD, fluid compu compute, you can have serverless setup and much much more. All of this for free, forever. With So go ahead, do a sign up. It takes a couple of seconds for you. Just provide your plan, email ID, verify your email ID and you are good to go. All right. So that's this is the platform we'll use and learn how to deploy our application today. So assuming that you have done it, this is how it would look once you log in. If you don't have any projects, you'll not see it. All right, let's get started with the step by step guide. Before I get into it, make sure that you get your full stack interview question answer series pack. It consists of over 25 plus technologies over 2000 plus question answer series with code snippets. This is a once in a lifetime buy that you would do. You can get your copy at arctutorials.gumroad.com. It covers all these technologies and all these tracks forever. You can get your copy again at arctutorials.gumroad.com. All right, that being said, let's go ahead and learn how to deploy Angular application on Warcell. So let me go to the Visual Studio Code and I'm going to create a folder called Deploy. Inside this, I'm going to create Angular app. Now this is where I'm assuming that you already have an Angular application. If you don't know, please refer to any of my um, Angular playlist and you can get started with Angular learning. Uh, assuming that you have already installed Angular CLI, my CLI version is 19. I'm going to create a quick new application and let's call it invoice. I'm not going to do anything in this application just change the little bit on the home page and we'll deploy it. It will take a couple of seconds to build. Let it go. In the meanwhile, hit that like button and subscribe button for me. All right. And just a note, uh, why are we learning deployments? As you see, having multiple skill sets always helps, right? So that's the reason that I will also teach you how to deploy, how to maintain and all that. So let's go into CD invoice and type ng serve. So this is what will build your application. Okay, your Angular application. Now, once this is done, what we need to do is that we'll make a simple change so that when we deploy, we can see the change. I'm going into app HTML. I'll keep router at outlet and everything else I'll del delete and say deploy deploy to deploy to Warsaw. app to Warsaw. So if you want you can go and type localhost 4200 and it will give you this message. Assuming that this is your Angular application, what we will do, we are happy with the Angular application we have built. Now what we'll do is we will just go ahead and uh, build it. Okay. So how do you build an Angular application? You will type ng build. That's the command. And you can provide options like configurations, etc. But we'll keep it simple. So once you do ng build, you will see dist folder which generates the output of our application. The next thing you will do is you will have to, if you have already not done it, you will do npm install hyphen g warsel. That's the command you will run to install the 
word cell in your CLI. Once you have done it, it would ask you to configure, okay, which is nothing but connecting it with the repo that you have logged in. So you can type Versal space login. Now it will ask you these options, which one you want to go ahead with. So I'll go ahead with GitHub since I have signed up with GitHub. If you if you have signed up with uh, email, go ahead to email. If it's single sign on, to single sign on. And it would check for my GitHub and it will say Versal CLI success. That means my authentication was successful through GitHub. Okay, so now that it will give you this message which says, congrats, you are now logged in. Okay, that means now you're logged in and you're all set to deploy. The next thing we'll do is simply type Warcel and hit enter. It's running this CLI and it will ask you that you want to set up this particular deploy. Type yes. Which projects you want to deploy? I want to deploy in Surya projects. Yes. Link to any existing project? No. What's your project name? Uh, invoice Angular app. And we'll just enter. And it would check that all these settings are correct. Type yes. And build the command and let's go. And in no time, you can see that you're actually deploying the production to Warcell platform directly. The fastest way I can tell you is this. Now let's see that. I'll show you in the portal also. Again, if you're building it first time, it will take few seconds to um, a minute max, but it's fast. If you are a developer, make sure that you get your app. All right, so it has deployed it. You can see success. Now what we'll do? We'll go to our Warsaw folder and refresh, and you can see that we have our invoice Angular application ready. Click on it, and you can see the deployment link. Okay, click on it, and you can open the app, and you can see that this is the app that we built has been deployed to Warsaw. That's as simple as that. Every time you deploy, you can click on it and you can check the deployment logs, right? So every time you make any change, a new build will come in and you can click on it, get the link and check the application. That's the easiest way you can use the uh, Warsaw platform to deploy your Angular applications. So go ahead, push all of your Angular projects for free to Warsaw today. I hope you're enjoying this series. I'll cover more on how to deploy React, Express, Next.js, Serverless, all of that to Warsaw, to AWS, and many, many more platforms. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.